Hey guys, what's up? It's Casey. I'm back with yet another video. Today is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. So guys, I came today because I wanted to share with you um, just a little bit here um, of me and my temptations. Me and my temptations, okay? And one reason why I want to share this with you guys is because I do come on here and I do ask you guys for help financially from time to time. And um, I don't want you guys to think I'm scamming you, I'm conning you, I'm scheming you or anything like that. So, for example, one reason why I don't say sow a seed, sow a seed is because I have no ministry for you to sow a seed into. I don't. Um, but I do ask for, ask for gifts or um, donations or, you know, uh, our monies for, for financial help. But I don't have a ministry um, to sow a seed into. So I want to make that plain that this is just a regular channel. This is a regular person that's just share their experiences, share their thoughts that, you know, talk about different topics Things going on in the world, things, new laws, Illuminati, you know, things about God, stuff like that. I just want to put that out there because some people come on here and especially if I ask for money, they'll say, oh, you know, you're not supposed to be collecting money. And it's like, dude, this is not a ministry. This, this is not a ministry, okay? But I want to talk to you guys about some of my temptations and it's true temptations, okay? So a temptation is something that I feel, my definition is when the devil puts a carrot in front of your face and dangles it, <laughs> right? And um, you actually can reach out and touch it. That's a temptation to me. So for example, a temptation for me wouldn't be the wealth transfer, but a temptation for me would be what I'm about to probably explain to you in this video right that would be a temptation for me so temptation for me is going back to Egypt so when I left and you can look at my very first video of how I came back to God from a back backslidden state but when I left um wickedness to come to God I left I left things that I did for a living as well which I was into occultic things which I have explained um, doing birth charts, love charts, spell work for people, rituals and things to get the money, love, a lot of love, court cases, things like that, harm people, revenge, things like that. Um, I did reading, stuff like that. And so the temptation for me is that it's people that still contact me. It's people that still email me. And it's, pe it's people that still says, hey, my old customers that says hey you'll do some spell work for me okay and what I do is I tell them hey listen um I'm saved now you know thanks for hitting me up but I'm saved I no longer do, do that and you know most of the times they're Christians anyway so they'll be like oh congratulations you know that's good or whatever and they go about their way um but it's a temptation for me because at this point most of you guys know that I'm homeless I'm living in my car, my car, which is not working now, which costs over a thousand dollars of freaking repair. OK, so it's, it's, it's a real temptation for me because I know I can easily pick up that email and hit those people back. I know I can go and email all my customers and say, listen, I'm back in business. It's on, it's popping. Let's get it started. And I know I can start collecting money just like that, just like that. Easy. So for me, that's a temptation more so than like a wealth transfer. You know, it's something that's accessible. It's something I know I can get. And know I, I know I can get it on the spot. You see what I'm saying? So for me, that's hard. It's, it's for me, it's hard because I'm in a particular situation where the funds would be nice. But how I get the funds, my integrity is everything. And I'm standing on my integrity. Okay. Um, I have screenshots up here of another business that I had, um, that I was very, very good at. Um, and, and I'm still am if I decided to do it, but it's a, a, of the gambling nature. And with this business, you know, um, I help people win the lottery. <laughs> I help people win a lot of money. I myself won a lot of money. And um, what I would do is I would pick the predictions for the pick three lottery. 
I only knew how to do the pick three, okay? And I learned this once again through spirits, you know, um, demonic spirits that helped me learn, you know, how this lottery thing works. And it is rigged. It is indeed rigged. But um, there is a there is a um, formula to it, so to say, right? So I started learning how to do it within three, four, five times a week in my own state. And so when I started getting really good at it, I started learning other states. And basically, I would do people's numbers for free online. And then when it got really like a lot of people was asking me to do it for them, it was too many people. And I just started charging money for it. Right. But it was like a fun hobby for me because I love numbers. I love science. I love occultic things at the time. And so I had to use all these different things to get the answers to what was going to come out. So, um... I got I got a lot of money from this. I made people a lot of money. I got a lot of testimony. Almost every video was a testimonial on that page um, from my lottery page. And I started teaching people how to not only play in their own cities, but how to play in other cities, in other states, how to make more money, how to make a thousand, three thousand, ten thousand, how to do that from just the pick three. You know, you don't need the lotto. You don't need the mega 12, the mega millions. You you just need the, the three. You just need that. And um, I would teach them how to get doubles, triples. I would teach them all this stuff. And, you know, I still get emails from my old customers, you know, saying they want to renew their subscription, you know, and things like that. And to me, that's very tempting. That's very, very tempting. You know, in the beginning, it wasn't tempting because when I first started out on this a couple years ago um, and I put everything down for God, I put everything down and I said, I'm going to walk the straight and the narrow path. Um, I was able to do that. I had a lot of money. I was just thinking, okay, I'll take a couple years off and I'll just relax. I'm not a big shopper. I'm not a big, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a high maintenance chick where I have to have the Gucci and the Chanel and my nails done every week and my hair done every month. And I don't do that. So I, I did, I, I didn't need all of this money. The money that I needed was just to contribute and to do what God told me to do, which was start, <laughs> start um prepping right for days that are to come and um which i've shared on this channel so much even my old channel before i, cha I changed it to hidden gems I, I i used to share this is what i'm what the lord's given me okay and um we need to be buying water we need to be buying medicine food da -da 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 solar panels walkie talkies faraday bags stuff like this and so um i was getting stuff like that so i, I didn't really have a need for money i'm not really a um greedy person okay um i'm just very you know i have i'm content I, i'm content as long as i have my basic i'm content but then, you know, so I quit doing everything and I'm like, OK, Lord, I'll just do what you want me to do. Then I had a situation with my landlord, which I know about after 12 years of living in the same house for 12 freaking years, <laughs> 12 years. She decides to get her little, you know, power going and she wants to show me who has authority and say, hey, I know I want to renew the lease with you. So when the lease is up this time then we're not going to renew. You're going to have to move, right? And again, it was, she was upset. Um, and she wanted to show me what, po what power she had. So she showed me, right? And so I had to move. Long story short, and from there, things just started going down. I started draining my money. My bank account started turning in my assets, started all of this, liquidating stuff so I could survive. And now I'm at a point of, wow, you know, I'm living out of my car homeless you know and all this time i know that i can go back at any point in time i know i can go to the corner store and buy lottery tickets right i know i can i know i can hit up my customers and say i'm open again renew your subscription let's start your subscription again i know i can hit up people and say do you want a reading i'll give you a reading do you want spell work i know this right but that's like going back to Egypt. That's like turning back around and saying, you know what, God, 
I know you saved me and everything and I'm on my way through this wilderness and I know I'm going to this promised land, but it's so hard in this wilderness right now. I think I'm just going to turn around. I think I'm going to go back to Egypt. I'm going to go and hang out with Pharaoh because it just is so much easier with Pharaoh. And I just feel like I'm being tested on all sides. Now, why am I telling y'all this? I'm telling y'all this because number one, again, I know it's people on here. They claim they're prophetesses like Alyssa. Um, they claim that they, you know, are preachers, teachers or whatever and sow a seed here or there and they're scamming and cunning you and they're lying to you. But when I come on here and I ask y'all for help, I'm not scamming, I'm not cunning and I'm not lying. And my ego, because I still have ego, right? And I probably shouldn't, but it hurts. You know, I, I'm the girl that graduated school early. I'm the girl that, you know, even though I was a single parent, I got a degree in computer science. I'm, and I finished. Okay, I got the degree. It didn't mean nothing, right? Because I never got a job in it. But it don't matter. I'm a go-getter. I'm a goal-oriented person. I'm an ambitious person. And so for a person like that, it's very hurtful when you ask people for help. It's very, um, it does something to the inside. If you're like, oh my God, I'm used to taking care of myself. Oh my God, I'm used to doing you know what I'm saying like that like I've never done this before you know and it just makes me feel so bad you know and since like this um July maybe August like I've been asking you guys for help on and off and I'm and and I'm kind of making this video that you know I don't know when I'm gonna stop asking because I don't know when my situation is going to change. I've been doing everything that I feel like the Lord is telling me to do. I, I wrote the book he told me to write. I've, I've done other things that he's told me to do that are bringing income. But um, it, it's just maybe it's not its time. Maybe whatever it is that's going to help me, it's just it's not its time. I don't know, but I'm trying to live by faith right here and not turn around and go back to Egypt. But I know that Egypt it's right there it's right it's really literally the click of a button for me that's how close Egypt is for me I don't have to go very far at all okay so that's the first thing um I want y'all to know I'm not scamming or cunning the second thing is that um I'm not a dumb person and this could be my ego you know what I'm saying I'm not a dumb person I'm a very smart person I've started businesses I pay my taxes I you know like I say I've gotten a degree a degree not many some people got seven and eight degrees but only have one but I finished you know and to say that I was a single teen mom single parent teen mom I think I think I, I I did okay you know and of course with the help of the Lord giving me a brain and a mind and being able to be goal oriented and you know and so um I want y'all to know that when I do ask for help it kind of is a sting to my heart it, it hurts. It hurts to me because I've always, I've always been raised to do for yourself. I've always been raised that way from my mom and dad. And that's the way I've always been. And even, you know, as it's just the way it's just the way that I am. So, you know, when I ask, it, it almost feels like I'm begging. I'm a beggar. And in a way I could be begging, but I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But I'm in a particular space right now where I could either A, ask for help, or B, go back to what I know and know that it's going to work. I don't have to guess. I don't have to figure it out. It's been working for years. So I know it'll work. But at what cost? The cost of my soul. That's the cost. The cost is what good is it that a man get the whole world but yet he loses his soul? And that's where I feel like I'm at. And I feel like I'm in the middle of the wilderness or somewhere along the wilderness. And I, and I feel like the devil is testing me because people still email me. People still want my services. And so it, it, the seeds are planted in my head that you know all you have to do is this and that. You know, you know what it'll take to get them numbers. You know what I'm saying? You know you could hit that lottery, that 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 three lottery in two or three days. Your number's going to come out. You know what to do. Just do it. But I'm trying to stay on 10 toes down. I'm trying to stay in my integrity. I'm trying to stay in my morals. I'm trying to stay in the faith. I'm trying to prove to God that no matter what, 
you know, it's nothing in this world. It's no luxury. It's no, not, I, I choose God. I choose you. I choose salvation. I choose life. I choose that first. I choose that first. I do. And, um, Lord, I hope you're really listening to me because <laughs> I'm like, God, please, I hope you're looking at my lifestyle then. And if you want to call this a lifestyle, my lifestyle now and see, it is totally different. You know, um, and it's just, I don't know. I'm just, I just want you guys to know and realize that I'm not scamming you when I get on here. And I want you to know and realize that I do not, I do not want to ask you guys for help. I don't. I've always been a person who wants to give to people. I've always been the ones who want to give and not to receive. I've always been the person that say, you know what? I'd rather they use me than I use them. You know, if that's what it took for them to whatever, then fine. They got it. Good. You know what I'm saying? I'll be good. I'll, I'll, I'll be all right. So um, it, it, it kind of pinches a little bit. But guys, I will be asking you help until, like I say, until whatever God got planned for me, you know, kicks in. Excuse me. Like I say, he has told me about a couple business ventures and I have been doing what he say do. And maybe there's other things as well he wants me to do. I don't know. But I do need help again. And I will probably need help. So when y'all see my community posts and stuff. And I ask for assistance, please, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you can, if you can, you know, please help me. Um, at the end of this video, okay, I'm going to ask if you guys could help me at this time. Now, I know it's the Christmas season. Y'all know I feel the same way God feel about the pagan holidays. But I know a lot of people still celebrate it. So I understand around Christmas time, a lot of people ain't got it like how they got it, you know, in May or June or, you know, July or September. But if you are able, if you are able and if you, you know, don't mind helping me, then I'm going to put my cash app and I'm going to put my PayPal link down in the description section in the comment section below. And if you can help me, that'd be great. Right now, my car alternator is gone and it's going to cost a little over a thousand dollars to fix it. I was doing the Ubers in the meantime, and now there is no Ubering to be done. Um, I don't have any income, any sort of any kind. I've been going to all kinds of services in my town. There is none. Um, I even went to housing services, and they're saying they don't know when the list is going to open for any type of housing. Any type of housing. I went to shelters. They, they, It's just, it's. we have no sources at this point. Um, <laughs> the very few and I mean very few sources, it's very, very small. They're helping people with like their freaking water bill, okay? I don't even have a house to get help with the water bill, so that's not going to help me at all in any shape, form, nor fashion. Um, but um, the services we used to have in this town, we just don't have those services right now. We don't have those services. Um, and y'all know it's only going to get worse based off of what God has been telling us. So America is bankrupt. America is broke. They're just, you know, um, it's just a facade right now that they paying for everybody right now, making everybody think all is good and well. But um, I just don't see it getting better based off of what the Lord is saying. Um, anytime, anytime soon. I only see it getting better once that universal basic income kick in. And once we go digital money, that's that's when it's going to get better. And if that's what you want to call better, you see what I'm saying? If that's what you want to call better. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So, but in the meantime, this is just where I am personally. And um, so I'm just asking if you can, guys, today or whenever I put a post up, if you are available and if you can enable, if you could help donate or gift that money. Don't sow a seed because I have no ministry that you can sow a seed, sow a seed into. I don't have a ministry. I am just a lady that's online that give my experiences, that give my thoughts and opinions on things, that talk about different things going on in the world. 
the New World Order, New Laws, Illuminati, all of that stuff like that. <laughs> these puppet uh, people um, online, these celebrities and stuff. But I do not have a ministry in any shape, form, nor fashion. I am not trying to scam anybody or anything like that. I genuinely just need help. I genuinely need help. Okay, and the reason why I put up some of those receipts that y'all see is because people do lying and stuff all the time. And so um, I want to let y'all know. Yeah, I know I can go back to I can go back to Egypt. I, I put my channel name up there so you can see almost every single video is a testimonial video of somebody. And I ain't even put my own personal. I think I probably put up maybe 20 out of all those videos. Maybe 20 of those videos is my own personal winnings. I, I never did that because I figured um, I don't use the same method from my numbers to get my predictions as I use for my audience, <laughs> for my viewers. So I didn't put up my predictions because I do my, did my predictions differently. But I still won a lot. <laughs> I still won three, four times a week. So anyways, um, but I put that up there so that you see I'm not playing. I'm not, I'm not these people around here that claim they prophets and all of that and they not, they ministers and they not, I'm not them people. I genuinely am a, 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 a lady that's just, you know, trying to make it out here right now and want to share my story and stuff. I've been sharing my story since I've been on here as a wicked person for over a decade. So now I'm sharing it now that I'm trying to do right by the Lord, you know, and, um, this is where it is. This is where it's at. So, yes, I feel like I'm being tested, I'm being tempted, I'm being pushed, I'm being prodded mentally, spiritually, physically, financially, and on every type of level. But I'm telling you, with the help of the Holy Spirit, I am standing my ground. I will not fold with the help of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to stay in my integrity with the help of the Holy Spirit. I choose the Lord God with the help of the Holy Spirit. And I keep saying with the help of the Holy Spirit, because God knows if I get in my flesh, I can do anything. And I know that that I know. So that's why I'm saying with the help of the Holy Spirit, you know, I will choose God and God only. And, and, and that's that is my master. OK, Will it be God or will it be mammon? Will it be God or will it be man? Will it be God or will it be money? And I'm saying God. And I am literally suffering. I am literally carrying my cross suffering daily. Things that you just don't know that people go through homelessness. You think you know. You don't know. You do not know. And I'm telling you, I am carrying my cross daily knowing. Knowing that I know that if I did what I want to do. In two weeks, I could have a house. No, seriously. Knowing if I go and get the, pick those numbers at my local store and online for the pick three, I could I could be in somebody's house in two weeks, a nice house at that. I could rent a nice house. I could get an Airbnb in a few days. I could get a hotel in a few days. Knowing that this is not something I can't. This is something I've been doing for years. But I'm refusing to bow down to Bell. I'm refusing to go back. I'm refusing to go back to Egypt. And if this is what it's going to take, this is just what it's going to take. But I'm just asking if you guys can help. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Um, you can. I'm going to put my cash up, my PayPal in the description section and in the comment section below and if you have paypal because one of y'all hit me up and said you don't have paypal in your country you don't have to have paypal you can have a visa card a Mac, you can have any kind of credit card or any kind of a debit card and it will work it's not going to ask you for your paypal information it's going to ask for your card information now if you want to use your paypal then you can but it's, that's not required that is not required um, so I just want to make sure that is known, um, cause you said a couple of times that, that you don't have PayPal. So I, I made sure, okay, hold on. Cause I know my customers, they don't have PayPal, but yeah, they're paying with a credit card, their debit card, stuff like that. Um, so that's that. Um, and if anybody, you know, I ask for prayers from everybody, I ask for prayers you know, please pray for me and pray that, 
You know, God had me do the will that he wants me to do for him. And maybe this is part of his will. And so shall it be done? Shall it be done? You know, but I ask that you pray for my will. I don't know what that is, but just whatever it is that I do the will that he has for me in my life before he created before the foundations of this world. OK, so um, thank you all for listening to the video. Thank you all for listening to the channel. I hope that I offer some type of hope, help. Um, I hope that I offer some type of something to you. What I really want to do is offer a service to you guys because I am used to working for stuff. I'm used to exchanging money for for a product or money for a service. If y'all have anything, any suggestions or anything like that, of maybe of any type of videos or something that y'all want made and maybe I make it on Patreon and I, you know, um, charge a fee and then just something like that. That way, you know, I can feel like I'm not really begging for money. I can feel like I'm contributing something to you, giving you an exchange for your energy at the same time. And it would make me feel better. You know what I'm saying? It would make me feel like a woman again, <laughs> so to say. Um, so if you have any suggestions and please let me know of anything that you're willing to pay for that you would like you would want you know whether it's decoding videos or movies or uh videos or whether it's my beautiful picture books or or whatever um then let me know you know and and i'll see you know if it's something that i can do and see if it's something that you know other people would like maybe take a poll and see if it's something that people would like and and then maybe perhaps do that um, because again, I would much rather work and give you something in exchange for your money instead of just come up here and say, give, give, give to me, give to me, give to me. You know, I'd rather be a giver than a receiver. And that's just real. So anyways, thanks for checking out the video, guys. Y'all have a beautiful, wonderful, and a most blessed day. And, um... I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. And please, if you can help me, like I say, I understand it's the holidays. And so, you know, things might be not be right where y'all usually at. But if you can, then the links will be down below for the cash app and for the PayPal links in which you can use a credit card or debit card for PayPal if you don't have that. Um, I think you can use it for cash app, too, when I think about it. I'm just putting that out there. OK. Anyways, y'all have a beautiful day talk later. I'm out guys. Peace.